Hello Video Maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a special kind of mods called Shader Mods for Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition for Steam. There will be two links in the description below. Uh, you'll need to download both of those files and I'll go ahead and show you uh, each of the files on uh, as far as downloading them goes. Um, the first thing you need to do is um, you want to install Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition and go ahead and run it once. All you have to do is just have this menu pop up and that's all it takes. It initializes um, and uh, creates certain files that are required for the, um, uh, the mod to take effect. All right, after you've done that, uh, the first link is going to take you to the Nexus site to a mod called Better Looking Borderlands Enhanced. If you do not have a, an account with the Nexus mod site, go ahead and create one. It is free. There's a premium version that allows for faster downloads uh, speeds, but overall, uh, downloads don't usually take too long overall. It depends on your internet connection. But uh, go ahead and click on the first link, which should give you this page right here. And then go ahead and click on the Files tab. And this is what you want to download right here, the Better Looking Borderlands Reshade. This down here is optional if you want less saturation and contrast, but we're going to go ahead with just the main file here. And if you have premium, you can do the fast download, but for the rest of us plebs, it's the slow download for the free, uh, free account. And just wait a few seconds. And you want to save the file. And go ahead and save it to uh, where you would uh, be able to get to it later on. All right, now the other uh, file that we got to download, which will be the second link in the description, is reshade itself and it'll take you to this page right here click this download button for it to scroll you down and go ahead and click on this green button called download reshade 491 and then click on save file and go ahead and save that up all right after we got that taken care of, um, first of all, go ahead and go to the folder where you downloaded the files at and have them ready. And go ahead and extract uh, Better Looking Borderlands Reshade. And go ahead and extract it to the same uh, folder. Now this pop-up is because I already extracted it myself. Uh, you shouldn't see a pop-up for extracting the files. And what you'll have is a blbe.ini file. And reshade itself comes as just an executable file right there. Now the next thing we want to do is go to the folder where the Borderlands uh, game folder is at. So uh, for the majority of us, it should be in your C drive, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. Now we then want to go into binaries, Win64, and now go ahead and click on and copy over reshade setup uh, executable file and we want to paste it into here. Then Go ahead and click on and copy uh, the blbe.ini file after you have, un have unzipped uh, Better Looking Borderlands Reshade file. And you want to paste it also into here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and run the Reshade Setup uh, executable file. What we want to do is right click and select Run as Administrator. Go ahead and click on the button right here. Click here to select a game and manage its reshade installation. And give it a moment to uh, pull up all your games that are uh, qualified for reshade. And go ahead and find Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. And then click on selected, Use Selected Application. Click on uh, Direct 3D 10, 11, and 12. 
Uh, if you're running Windows 10, this is what you want to do. And you shouldn't get this window right here. I still had some remnants of reshade, but I'll go ahead and click update. Okay, now don't worry about the rest of these right here, but you're more than welcome to play around with those if you like. But in my case, um, I just unchecked that. Standard effects, I leave checkmarked, but I unchecked everything else. And click OK. And then go ahead and click um, the close button right there. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and run Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. And put your finger over the home key after you click play. And just wait for the, the game to start up. Now, hit the home key because you'll see text on the upper left side. And then for you, you're going to get, um, since I've ran this before, it won't show the, uh, uh, the, uh, the tutorial as it were, but all you have to do is click continue, 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 and then finally finish. And then you come to the home screen, and you should get something like this, where you got the tabs here. And then all you have to do is hit home again. And go ahead and, you know, it exits you out of that. And then go ahead and start up the game. And your uh, shader mod should be installed. In my case, uh, with the, uh, the mod that uh, I installed here, it takes away the black borders around the characters, around the objects and everything. And also enhances uh, the color a little bit, I believe, and as well as uh, the textures. But that's pretty much all there is to it. You should be all set and playing Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition with a nice little shader mod. And again, uh, this should work for most shader mods that are geared towards Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. Make sure you check with any shader mod that you want to use that it will work for this version of Borderlands. Alright, that's pretty much it. And I hope this helps enhance your uh, gameplay here with Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. God bless you one and all, and take care.